Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. In this video, I'll be showing you all how I did my own feed-in braids. So if you want to see how I went from this to that, get into it. Keep on watching. Let's get into the video. Okay. Okay. That's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fifty. That's all I'm getting. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny, and today we are going to do our own feed-in braids, start to finish. Yeah, get into it. So my hair has been shampooed and deep conditioned. Starting off by taking the Tresemme Heat Protection Spray, I'm going to apply a generous amount of this since my hair is natural, the way I can blow dry it stress-free. I do have scalp psoriasis, so I like to apply this ointment prescribed by my dermatologist just to the front portion of my hair where it could get a little flaky and dry and ruin my braids if I otherwise don't use this. Girl. I've had this blow dryer well over four years, and she like, nope, not today. I don't feel like doing your hair. You feel like doing your hair. <laughs> All right, pizza, the blow dryer, okay? Why does this say September the 21st, and it's spoiled? The only thing good is the cheese. That's crazy. Oh! Well, I also got this. Nevertheless, I went downstairs and grabbed my little travel Conair blow dryer because ain't nothing about to stop my show. The only thing I wasn't able to attach the comb to that, so we got to improvise. But we're going to get it done. So I went ahead and applied some of my Blue Magic hair grease to my scalp as well. Yeah, I use Blue Magic. Get into it, okay? And then I picked up this cream of nature, leave-in curl milk. It's just a moisturizer, and I don't want my own hair to be dry and brittle within these braids. So a moisturizer is necessary for me. Since I had to improvise and I couldn't get my absolute best blow dry, I followed up with this straightening brush just to get my hair a little more straight and blown out. I went ahead and picked up a few products from Amazon to make the braiding process a little bit easier for me since I will be doing all of this by myself. I got this three-way mirror, the braiding rack. If you're not new here, then you know I used to lay the hair all over the bed and everything, but we got a rack now. And this is how much hair we get out of one of the bundles out of the three that come in the pre-stretched hair. I also picked up the three-way mirror from Amazon. I'm going to link it down below. This is going to come in handy for braiding your own hair, not having to hold the mirror, Ooh. and just being able to see the front oh, and the back once you hang it over a door. Oh, <gasps> game changer. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, start time is 4 o'clock. The, the pattern that I want to do, I'm going to follow on this YouTube video. DSYB hair. I'm going to link the one that I'm following. Not the curly hair, but we're going to try that pattern. And instead of a curly hair, I'll just keep braiding. All right, so first we got to do a middle part. Is the lighting good? Yeah. The way these mirrors are, I'm positioning the side ones to where I can see everything in the back. Taking the Shine and Jam Magic Fingers. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's what we have to accomplish this hairstyle. I am going to part my hair down the middle. That's my rough draft. And then after that, I like to take the metal end of the comb and I slide that down the part. Applying that product on the parting space just really helps to separate the hair that should be on the left from the hair that should be on the right. After I do that, I'm parting kind of like a C shape. Next to that, adding in that jam and then reparting to get it perfect or as close to perfect as we can. Then from there, I'm going to separate an even smaller piece. This is the size of the braiding hair. Actually, I took a little bit out of that to feed in. If you want to leave out any edges, I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. So I began braiding with my own hair and I kind of just repeat the braiding motion once. Okay, I think I did it twice on that one. And then I feed in that first piece of hair. Now, if you know me, you know Destiny cannot braid her own hair when her nails are done. So this was me saying, I'm gonna just try it, I'm gonna see. And once I got started, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to let the nails go. Cause we was already in at this point. <laughs> Ain't no turning back because I had to get rid of the nails. So I wanted to do a zigzag part. I don't know who I think I am, who told me I could do a zigzag, but we're about to try it. So you want to part the hair. Three parts. I'm going to try to go down and then up and then down. Maybe I'll do one more, then we're going to go straight after that. So use the edge control to make it neat. What's up with Disney probably said it all, so never mind. Only thing I don't know if I can braid sideways. About to see. The camera ended up cutting off. I went ahead and finished the zigzag and it turned out really nice for my first attempt at being able to do one because I ain't gonna lie, I didn't think I could. So for my small braid, I take one of the pieces that we've separated out and then I basically grab a little piece that I'll need from that. Once my pointing finger and my thumb are near one another in the braiding motion, I slip the piece of hair right in between that and then I keep braiding. When you slip the hair in between, it basically falls in line with the three pieces and that basically helps it to fall right into place and it's fed in with the rest of your own hair to where it looks like it's all one. 
if you're capable of feeding that hair in from the very beginning do that but i always start out braiding with my own hair just because i haven't mastered being able to do it differently so, so making a random c right there i'm just playing in my head at this point <laughs> this is not a tutorial it's just watch me work watch me work i don't even have the mic attached never mind i forget i'm supposed to be getting this let me put it up here with the small braids have fun with it place some parts here and there and then see what you got so taking that jam and i always apply that to both sides of the parting space this helps to keep the hair nice and smooth as we braid starting off with braiding with my own hair first and then that first piece that i feed in that's small so that piece comes from just grabbing one of the ones that we separated out and only taking a little portion of that to feed in if you're wondering about how thick your small piece should be match the thickness to your three strands of hair that you're holding hopefully that makes sense each time my pointing finger and my thumb are touching one another that lets me know that I'm going to slide a piece of hair right underneath that and then I keep braiding so sliding the hair underneath or in between your pointing finger and your thumb basically positions it with your three legs I like to go ahead and grab some more of that product and slip it onto the side because I don't really want to grab hair that I'm not supposed to touch. And as you braid back, don't forget to grab those accent braids and fit them into the large braid. I like to pause and double check my work as I'm going so that if I notice any mistakes, I can go ahead and correct those before getting all the way to the end of the braid. So showing you all right here where my pointer finger and my thumb are touching one another as I braid, that's when I know to slip that hair in because your fingers are basically crossing over one another the entire time. Braiding is repetition. So every time the pointer finger and thumb touch, you want to feed in a piece of hair. Make sure you're pulling all the way through because um, you'll see me combing my hair out a lot or combing out the braiding hair and that's when I kind of get a little bit lazy with this hair being long. If I'm not pulling all the way through every time I braid, it gets tangled a little bit. Yes, my hands do sometimes hurt when I braid, but we gotta do what we gotta do. And that just comes with braiding your own hair. So as far as the amount of pieces that I feed in, I feed in hair from the very beginning all the way to the nape. You don't really want to feed in hair after that, um, or I don't because of the length that I want, just kind of like tailbone length. And I feel like the braid just gets thicker and thicker and you'll be braided forever. I'd like to dip my ham in uh, ham. <laughs> I like to dip my hand into the jam or whichever product you're using as you get closest to where your own natural hair ends. That way you're making sure to seal that really well into the braid so that it doesn't start peeking out um, as your braids get older. I ain't gonna try to explain. Whenever I try to really like explain to y'all what I'm doing, I find myself messing up. So I'm not gonna do that. Whoa, it's hair. I need a minute after this one. <laughs> The hair is really great. It's just me not pulling all the way through that's messing me up in the end. Come on. I need scissors. That'll pop it for me. Pop it, pop it. They dream about when I rock it. Are these matching? Yeah. I'm just going to cut out this one. I'm going to have to just let the hair go. That one little spot right there that's bothering me. And once I feed some more hair in, it should still blend out the same. Grab my threes. Wait, did I twist somewhere? God, come on, I've been doing so good. <sighs> I need my music back on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> So continuing to braid all the way down, I braid down as far as I can and then I swing my hair down and around in front of me. You see me adding in another piece of hair right there? Don't do that. I regret it doing that. I'm adding in another piece of hair. I did not need to do that. Reason being, reason being is just that the braids were a little thicker than I wanted them to be. I actually woke up the next morning and I um, played it all the way up to those last two pieces that you saw me fit in and I took those oh, yeah. out. I'm hungry. One quick little breaky break, and then we're gonna get back to it. So it's about eight now. I think we started at four something. But yeah. <laughs> Everybody always admires the finished product, but yeah, trust the process. You gotta keep going. So parting down the middle again, and we're now halfway done. I'm going to separate out for that small braid, doing my rough draft part, running that product down to further define the parting space even more comb that through before you begin to braid it also i do want to add that you do not have to feed in that small piece of hair into your accent braids you can really just do this with just your own natural hair 
natural meaning like your hair relax or natural whatever state it's in the reason that i like to add in that small piece is just for the longevity of that braid lasting the same amount of time as my larger braids since they do have hair in them i have to start braiding with my own hair first and then i add in that small piece um, which it still kind of works out that same way and with my accent braids that little piece that you see me add that one little strand is all that's added to those braids you don't want them to be too large so taking the jam and smoothing that along both sides of the part and then I began braiding with my own hair first and braiding is just kind of like repetition um, it definitely takes longer because you're braiding your own hair, but it's possible. I used to not be able to braid my own hair at all. If you're someone who wants to start, the way I learned to braid my own hair before even doing feed-ins was just braiding my hair underneath my wig braids. My wig braids. Braiding my hair underneath my wigs. Yeah, we got to keep going. This is voiceover. It's 18 minutes. Yeah. I don't got time to keep starting over. I'm trying to get this finished because I got to head out. By the time you all are watching this, I have made it to my destination for my uh, trip four out of six. So yeah, I'm like literally trying to do this so that I can go ahead and lay down because I got to get up early. I don't like getting up early, but y'all know we get up early to catch flights, okay? <laughs> so separate that hair out again. And these mirrors definitely came in handy. If you've seen any of my previous braiding videos, then y'all know like I used to hold the other mirror. I would have mirrors propped up. Hanging this one on your door saves so much time and it just really helped me to literally see the front and the back. So behind me what you all cannot see is me looking into the bathroom mirror so you want to hang it on your door i had to do this in a different bathroom from mine just because the way my bathroom is set up <laughs> i sound like kevin hart <laughs> my door is not facing my mirror it's like off to the side so i shout out to my sister for letting me use hers to do this because i was in there for six hours y'all so separating out for the zigzag on the other side i wish the camera would not have cut off on me when i did that other one because this one i'm about to miss it all the way up Mm-hmm. Richard Destiny said, hey. <laughs> I think the reason that I wasn't able to do the zigzag well on this side is because I'm left-handed and the way your hand has to cross over for you to braid down and then back up and then down again, you gotta be a pro. Not a pro, but you just you gotta have done that more than a few times to be able to um manage swinging and twisting your wrist in that kind of way. But the reason that I chose to keep going with this braid is because if I don't attempt fancy partings if I don't attempt braiding my hair more than just straight back I'll never accomplish being able to do that if it makes sense so anything that you want to do you have to keep going with it if I have to explain the way the zigzag is supposed to go you braid down and then you slowly begin to grab the hair and go back up and then what happens is it looks all connected like a little snake. I was trying to make sure I wasn't grabbing the other pieces. And at this point, I'm not going to lie. I was like, whatever I'm getting, that's what it's giving. I'm about to keep going. Um, but I don't, I just kept it. It You can't see the pattern of what I knew that I was going for between me and y'all. Anybody watching this video is aware that I wanted it to be a, a zigzag. But when I go outside and nobody else knows that it was supposed to be a zigzag, it looked good to them. <laughs> So yeah, you got to keep trying. Don't give up. And for me, I just wanted to kind of branch out and see like, you know, in order to get better at something, you got to keep trying it. So whenever my pointed finger and thumb are touching, I'm going to add more hair in again. I'm trying to hopefully explain this as best as I can. But just keep going. Like if I give up, if I would have been like, I'm not doing this, I wouldn't have my hair braided. And I was re-watching some of my older videos and I was like, man, I really used to do my hair a lot on my channel, like a whole lot. And when people like subscribe, they become accustomed to that. And then I become someone who's scheduling appointments to go and get things done versus me doing it myself the way I used to. It's like, girl, if you don't braid your own hair again, re-watching my older videos inspired me. They motivate me and it was given like, girl, you used to braid your hair like this. I bet you can't do it again. <laughs> and I'm just continuing to feed this hair in like that. Sometimes I do kind of position the hair to grasp it to hold it in my mouth but you're braiding your own hair by yourself i applaud anyone who would just even attempt to do that so do what you need to do to get your hair neat to get it on point the way that you would like and i'm happy that i took a moment to just pause and rewatch some of my own older videos that really motivated me and if not for anything else we love a good bathroom hair tutorial don't get me wrong i do love a good appointment <laughs> but 
I'm thankful for it, just being self-sufficient. So with the braiding hair that we added to the rack at the beginning, we were able to finish about five braids along with the accent braids. I would recommend if you all want to get the pre-stretched hair that you saw me use or any brand that looks similar to that, purchase two packs of hair. That way you won't have to run to the store to rebuy hair in the middle of doing your braids. And I separate out my pieces. All of them are the exact same thickness. So I ran out of jam, by the way, at this point too. So you all will get to see what the even edge control uh, does as far as the braiding. A lot of people are not a fan of adding edge control throughout your entire head as you braid. But I kid y'all not, this braid is the smoothest and the sleekest of all of them that I did. Done? Did? <laughs> like I said, we're going to keep going. I got to get this video out. I got to get this money by tomorrow. I got to get this video out by tomorrow. <laughs> did I say it right? Gotta figure out a way to get this video finished by tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so, sleeking my hair, leaving out any edges if you want to. As your braids get old, the edges will come out anyway. But especially for when my braids go straight back, I do like to give it a little bit of pop, a little slice in the front with just, with just a few edges. And I also just feel like with edges being so short, I would rather leave them out versus trying to pull them into a braid anyway. So taking that hair, and I didn't edit these at all, I did speed this clip up just a little bit, but if you want to count the pieces, it is about 8 to 10 pieces that is fed into each braid. I feed in with my right hand, or when my right pointed finger and thumb are touching, because I know I said when your pointed finger and thumb are touching, that's when you feed in the hair. Don't do that on both sides, your braid will get too thick. Pick whether you want to feed it in on the right or if you want to feed it in on the left with me being left-handed this method is the one that feels more natural to my hands and now you see i'm like sliding my hand all the way through the hair so that it doesn't braid from the bottom up using a shower comb to just comb that through I'm trying to think of what else y'all might ask oh why did i go and watch my older videos after i was done braiding my hair who am i because one thing that i did not do that I normally do in all of my other braiding videos. And I think I haven't braided my hair outside of me just braiding it down for a wig. We have not done feed and braids in two years. Me on myself. <laughs> but the one thing that I forgot to do, I normally dip my hand into the product, the jam, the edge control, whatever I'm using, every so often as I'm braiding to make sure that I'm really smoothing my natural hair into the braid. And I'm like, why didn't you do that? So you all can see how nice and sleek this one is for some reason the braids near my ears are always the best ones for me um but yeah i like this style of myself i'm gonna shut up now because i've been talking a whole lot be sure to leave any questions that you all have down below and all of the products that i used will be linked down below as well oh my god it's literally 7 17 as i just clicked the play button to like record this voiceover oh my god well this clip for the voiceover that's my birthday by the way that's why it's significant Anyway, for those of you who enjoy listening to me randomly talk about other topics in these voiceovers as opposed to explaining the steps, since I hadn't braided my own hair in two years, I just felt that it would be more beneficial for me to walk you all through the steps instead of just chatting about my day. So finally done, oh my God. Yeah, I went ahead and trimmed a little bit of the ends to make them even. It was about 10 o'clock, so I went ahead and just cleaned the bathroom back up and I went to bed for the night. But now we need to go ahead and dip the hair. I'm going to link this mirror down below. Y'all need this. Game changer for sure. 10 13, six hours, and we are now done. These are the ends before dipping. I'm gonna do three and then three, basically. I should have put y'all closer, my bad. Right there would have been perfect. What time is it? It's about eight now. I want to be in bed by nine. <laughs> And I still have to pack all electronics. My vlog camera is tripping. So it look good. This, it makes it more when you walk compared to, yeah, dip. I wouldn't dip my real hair into this. And it'll be easier if you can get someone to help you. That way you can keep your hair behind you. Um, but this always works for me. Just don't let the hair, the boil the water touch you. Leave it just like that. Yeah. Okay, you all, so that's pretty much it for this video. Let me pull it to the front. All right, y'all, so that's pretty much it for this video and how I did my hair. The only last thing that I would do is double check any of the ends and kind of just trim away at any ones that are too, just like extremely too long. And you can compare them. So that is good enough 
for me. Oh, I'm on my Zoom Dan Lee. So that is pretty much it for this video. I need to go ahead and add this clip in so that I can upload this video for you all to make it public. I'm probably going to make this public either Saturday or Sunday. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll be at until I have time to edit and upload another video for you all. In the meantime, I'm getting ready to head out. Trip four out of six. These trips are not planned, y'all. Like, I just made up my mind at the beginning of the year that I wanted to do six trips. I didn't have the six in mind, but it was just kind of, instead of New Year's resolutions, I just kind of came up with different other personal and more fun goals of things that I could choose to do. But yeah, I'm glad it's been two years since we braided our own hair. Let me know what you all think. I love the way that it turned out. The products will be linked in the description box down below. Oh, the only other thing we didn't do. I'm gonna put my mousse on. The mousse helps with flyaways and all of that. But like once you put the mousse on, you know you're done. Yeah, so I'll talk to y'all in my next video. We back to doing hair videos, bathroom videos. Stay tuned. It was probably giving nostalgia if you like were here doing my doing my hair in the bathroom days. <laughs> That's how we got started. So yeah, back to my roots. Okay, I gotta go. I'm talking too much. Bye. Her heart go down her back. Girl, you need a plaque. Cause you the baddest I done seen in a while and that's a fact. But you already know that. Come and let me grab that.